Lord bless. Good to be back with you again today as we continue reading through the Word of God. And today we're going to be in 2 Kings chapters 15, 16, and 17. And so we'll start off in 2 Kings 15. In, in the 20 and 7th year of Jeroboam, king of Israel, began Ahaziah, son of Amaziah, uh, king of Judah to reign, 16 years old was he when he began to reign. And he reigned 20, oh, excuse me, 2 and 50 years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Chicola of Jerusalem. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Ahamaziah had done, save that the high places were not removed. The people sacrificed and burnt incense still on the high places. And the Lord smote the king, so that he was a leper unto the day of his death, and dwelt in a several house. And Jotham, the king's son, was over the house, judging the people of the land. And the rest of the acts of Ahaziah and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? So Ahaziah slept with his fathers, and they buried him with his fathers in the city of David. And Jotham, his son, reigned in his stead. In the thirty and eighth year of Ahaziah, king of Judah, did Zechariah, the son of Jeroboam, reign over Israel and Samaria six months. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, as his fathers had done. He departed not from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. And Shalom, the son of Jabesh, conspired against him and smote him before the people and slew him and reigned in his stead. And the rest of the acts of Zechariah, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. This was the word of the Lord, which he spake unto Jehu, saying, Thy sons shall sit on the throne of Israel unto, unto the fourth generation. And so it came to pass. Shalom, the son of Jabesh, began to reign in the nine and thirtieth year of Uzziah, king of Judah. And he reigned a full month in Samaria. For Mahanam, the son of Gadi, went up to Tizra and came to Samaria and smote Shalom, the son of Jabesh, in Samaria, and slew him and reigned in his stead. And the rest of the acts of Shalom and his conspiracy which he made, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. Then Mahanam smote Tipsha and all that were therein, and the coast thereof from Tizra, because they opened not to him. Therefore he smote it, and all the women therein that were with child he ripped up. And in the nine, nine and thirtieth year of Ahazariah, king of Judah, began Mahanam, the son of Gadi, to reign over Israel, and reigned ten years in Samaria. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. He departed not all his days from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. And Pul, the king of Assyria, came against the land, and Mahanam gave Pul a thousand talents of silver, that his hand might be with him to confirm the kingdom in his hand. And Mahanam exacted the money of Israel, even of all the mighty men of wealth, of each man fifty shekels of silver, to give to the king of Assyria. So the king of Assyria turned back and stayed not there in the land. And the rest of the acts of Mahanam and all that he did are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. And Mahanam slept with his fathers, and Pekiah his son reigned in his stead. In the fifth year of Ahaziah king of Judah, Pekiah the son of Mahanam, began to reign over Israel in Samaria and reigned two years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. He departed not from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. Pekiah, the son of Remlah, a captain of his, consp his, conspired against him and smote him Samaria in the palace of the king's house with Argob and Aria, and with him fifty men of the Gileadites, and he killed him and reigned in his room. And the rest of the acts of Pekiah are, uh, and all that he did, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. In the two and fiftieth year of Ahaziah, king of Judah, Pekiah, the son of Remaliah, began to reign over Israel and Samaria, and reigned twenty years. 
and he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. He departed not from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. In the days of Pekiah, king of Israel, came Tiglath-Pesir, king of Assyria, and took Ajan and Abel-Beth-Mahath, and Janoa, and Kadesh, and Hazor, and Gilead, and Galilee, and all the land of Naphtali, and carried them captive to Assyria. And Hoshea, the son of Elah, made a conspiracy against Pekiah, the son of Remlah, and smote him, and slew him, and reigned in his stead in the twentieth year of Jotham, the son of Uzziah. And the rest of the acts of Pekiah, and all that he did, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the king of Israel. In the second year of Pekiah, the son of Remlah, king of Israel, began Jotham, the son of Uzziah, king of Judah, to reign. Five and twenty years old, and he was... was... oh... Five and twenty years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Jeshua, the daughter of Zadok. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, and he did according to all that his father Uzziah had done. Howbeit the high places were not removed, the people sacrificed and burned incense still in the high places. He built the higher gate of the house of the Lord. Now the rest of the acts of Jotham and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? In those days the Lord began to sin, to sin against Judah, Razan, the king of Syria, and Pekiah, the son of Remliah. And Jotham slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David, his father. And Ahaz, Ahaz his son, reigned in his stead. Second Kings chapter 16. In the seventeenth year of Pekiah, the son of Remaliah, Ahaz, the son of Jotham, king of Judah, began to reign. Twenty years old was Ahaz when he began to reign, and reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord his God, like David his father. But he walked in the way of the kings of Israel. Yea, he made a son to pass through the fire, according to the abominations of the heathen whom the Lord cast out from before the children of Israel. And he sacrificed and burnt incense in the high places and on the hills and under every green tree. And Razin, king of Syria, and Pekiah, son of Remaliah, king of Israel, <coughs> excuse me, came up to Jerusalem to war, and they besieged Ahaz, but could not overcome him. At that time, Razin, king of Syria, uh, recovered Elath to Syria and drove the Jews from Elath. And the Syrians came to Elath and dwelt there unto this day. So Ahaz sent messengers to Tiglath-Pesir, king of Assyria, saying, I am thy servant and thy son. Come up and save me out of the hand of the king of Israel, Syria, king of Syria, and out of the hand of the king of Israel, which rise up against me. And Ahaz took the silver and gold that was found in the house of the Lord and in the treasures of the king's house and sent it for a present to the king of Assyria. And the king of Assyria hearkened unto him, for the king of Assyria went up against Damascus and took it and carried the people of it captive to Kir and slew Razan. And King Ahaz went to Damascus to meet tiglath pesir king of Assyria, and saw an altar that was at Damascus. And King Ahaz sent to Urijah the priest the fashion of the altar and the pattern of it according to all the workmanship thereof. Nirjah the priest built an altar according to all that King Ahaz had sent from Damascus. So Nirjah the priest made it against King Ahaz came from Damascus. And when the king was come from Damascus, the king saw the altar, and the king approached the, to the altar and offered their own. And he burnt his burnt offering and his meat offering and poured his drink offering and sprinkled the blood of his peace offerings upon the altar. And he brought also the brazen altar, which was before the Lord, and from the forefront of the house, from between the altar and the house of the Lord, and put it on the north side of the altar. And King Ahaz commanded Urijah the priest, saying, Upon the great altar burn the morning burnt offering, and the evening meat offering, and the king's burnt offering, and his meat offering, with the burnt offering of all the people of the land, and their meat offering, and their drink offerings, and sprinkle it upon it all the blood of the burnt offering and all the blood of the sacrifice and the brazen altar shall be for me to inquire by thus did Uriah the priest according to all that king ahaz commanded 
Then, and King Ahaz cut off the borders of the bases and removed the labors from off them and took down the sea from off the brazen oxen that were under it and put it upon a pavement of stones and the cover for the Sabbath that they had built in the house and the king's entry without turned he from the house of the Lord for the king of Assyria. Now the rest of the acts of Ahaz, which he did, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Judah? And Ahaz slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David. And Hezekiah, his son, reigned in his stead.